What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a weekly reading for the week of December 3rd through the December 9th. And uh, this reading is designed to give you the heads up on the upcoming week so you can make it the best week possible. And what a week we may be on the precipice of. Uh, we've got a, a giant moon in Gemini right now. And we've also got uh, the onset of the Mercury retrograde period. And it's going to last most of December. And I don't have to tell you guys, Mercury retrograde is always a trying time. It's a time when communications tend to break down, electronics tend to break down, uh, our relationships seem to become strained, and it's usually due to a lack of communication or incorrect in, in communication. So Mercury retrogrades can be challenging, uh, but uh, we're going to ask the tarot cards today how we can make it the best week possible. Uh, I'm going to be using the vice versa tarot for this. This is a new deck to me, and this is a very unique deck because... I'll just show you an example here. Each card has a front. This is the Hermit. And it's got a back. And the backs have different meanings. So uh, this tarot deck packs a serious punch. A lot of different meanings. And I'm still learning what the different meanings are. It's not just like the reverse meaning. Uh, each back has its own unique meaning. So I may have to consult the book. Uh, so I would appreciate if you... Um, you know, don't judge me for that. <laughs> okay, I'm still learning this deck, but I did want to share it with you guys. And I will be using this deck quite a bit in the future because I love it so much. It's really groundbreaking. It changes tarot. It adds a huge dimension to tarot that uh, is unseen in any other deck. So I actually like it a lot, and I like the images as well. So uh, get used to seeing this deck. I'm going to be using it quite a bit. Anyway, so let's uh, get into it. Let's ask the tarot cards the question. What do we need to know to make this week the best week possible? You actually have to shuffle this in a weird way, a way that, uh, you know, you get the backs involved. So, there we go. There we go. All right. One more. Good. We'll cut the deck. And we're going to deal out three cards. I have to deal them face up because it just makes sense to do that. So, we'll see them all at once. I don't usually do that for the weekly readings, but this is not the usual tarot reading now, is it? All right. So we've got one uh, versa, vice versa. I call them like the, the back side, but uh, the book says it's that side. It's, there's no front and back. It's this or that. So we've got the chariot uh, backside, that side. We've got the sun, and we've got the five of swords. Very interesting. Um, so I happen to know the meaning of this. Uh, we'll look at the chariot first. And the chariot, that side, when the chariot's moving away from you, uh, this card is about... You know, the chariot normally is about creation, right? It's about bringing all of your skills together and using them to move forward and to, to you know, break new ground and new directions. And uh, that's sort of what this means. But the backside of this card actually means that, you know, you've done all the practical things. You've really uh, focused and you've put your attention on, on the, the practical things that, you know, getting things done. But there's been a neglection of the spiritual side, the energetic side of things. And as we all know, to create something, to manifest something, it takes a, a wide variety of skills. You have to um, set the intention, and that's using your imagination. You have to speak it aloud. You have to use your, your communication skills to speak it in some way to the universe and tell the universe that that is what you want. Uh, you have to visualize it and use your imagination again to see it happening. Um, and uh, you have to then go out and do the work, right? And uh, put in work and put in action that's in alignment with your goals. Uh, but this card is saying that you have only kind of done the action part. 
And now it's time for you to do those more energetic parts, the parts of creation that are involving imagination, and they're involving intention setting, they're involving moving energy around, basically. And so that's what this card is trying to say to us at this time, is that, yes, you've done all the things that, you know, you, society teaches us are necessary to achieve our dreams and our goals, but you haven't done the energetic side. You haven't set those intentions. You haven't visualized. You haven't attracted on an energetic level your goals to you you have to vibrate at the same frequency as that which you're trying to attract so yes creation is about putting work in putting energy in and creating something yes that's the one aspect to it and that's the aspect that you seem to have been doing well this week or the previous weeks but this week it's time to focus on those spiritual energetic sides of things attract it to you change your vibration so that it matches what you want Set that intention. Speak your mind. And uh, once you do those things and you already having had done the action, I think you're going to see a little bit more uh, results uh, towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards your hopes. So uh, that is the first card. And we'll see what these cards have to say as a whole as we get into it. But that's what that card is saying individually. Let's move on over to this card, the sun card here in the middle. And what a brilliant card that is. Just lighting up the whole reading. Okay, to me, this card is saying it's about optimism. And optimism is the one of the major things that you need to have when creating, when manifesting, when starting something new, uh, when trying to bring something to you. Uh, optimism is crucial, absolutely crucial. And this card is saying that uh, you need to remain optimistic this week. You need to remain hopeful. You need to realize that anything is possible right just because someone has told you that something is impossible do you really believe that just because a lot of somebody's told you that something is impossible do you believe that never believe the words of other people if they don't resonate with you if you feel like something is possible for you then it is and this card is asking you to bring that optimism to your life this week realize that anything is possible anything that you want to believe is possible is possible and uh, the sun is all about, you know, staying in the sun and staying in the light and, and vibrating accordingly and, and not letting the shadow aspects drag you down. Um, yes, you're acknowledging the shadow aspects and yes, saying, you know, I need to work on those, sure. But in the light, they can't, you know, they can't distract you. They can't uh, suck you down to their level. And this card is saying that you need to remain in the light this week. If you want to create, if you want to get through this Mercury retrograde period, if you want to, you know, take full advantage of this new uh, full moon energy, then you need to stand in the light. You need to be optimistic. You need to be vibrant and, and vital and uh, just full of life and love. And I think it's going to help you so much. So much, okay? All right, this last card here is the Five of Swords. And to me, this is a warning. Um, this is what happens when you don't stay in the light. And I think this is kind of the antithesis to the sun is where, you know, if you're, if you're not staying positive, you're not staying optimistic, then we have a tendency to allow the ego mind to take over, to take control. And the ego mind is not the most cheery guy on the block, okay? The ego mind is kind of... I'm the best. Everyone else is subpar to me. I will prove it. I will show you. And uh, the Five of Swords is about those ego battles. It's about, you know, attempting to, to impose your will on someone, attempting to show your intelligence, attempting to show how logical you are. I'm right because this, this, and this. You're wrong because that, that, and that. And then we get into these, you know, arguments or altercations or whatever they may be. This could symbolize a whole lot of different ways that we fight against other people. And then what are we left with? Uh, the other person thinks that we're just uh, egomaniac, even if we're right, even if they think we're right. They don't. They look at us in a in a new light because we're very domineering, and uh, we don't want to accept other people's truths. We rather impose our truth on other people. So this is definitely a warning here. Uh, to stay away from those ego battles as much as you can, you know, catch yourself before they happen. If you find yourself wanting to argue with somebody because you're right. Uh, realize that um, you're just invalidating their truth while at the same time making them think less of you. And even if you're right, even if you win the discussion or the argument or whatever it may be, you've lost. And um, that's not the, the route that we need to go down. That's not the route that spirit wants from us. Our spirit, uh, according to these cards this week, 
I think spirit wants us to manifest. It wants us to create. And it's shown us uh, here in this card what we need to focus on. We need to focus on creating from an energetic level. Creating from a level of our higher selves. Um, not just you know the physical realm. Yes, we can do everything that we need to do in the physical realm. And guess what? Sometimes it doesn't happen, right? Our goals don't materialize. It's because we haven't attracted those things to us on an energetic level. We haven't uh, created those intentions. We haven't uh, you know uh, sat in the imagination of it, which helps us to align our frequency to it. That's why I always say visualize what you want, because that visualization is is changing your uh, vibration to to match that thing that you want so uh, that's gonna be the focus for this week is creation and that's what we need to focus on is um, the energetic things that are required for manifestation and then these two cards here are what to do and what not to do <laughs> what to do is stay optimistic stay positive stay uplifted stay just happy and stay in the light as much as you possibly can um, and avoid those ego trappings and avoid fighting with other people allow them to express their truth while you express your truth as well it doesn't have to be a fight it doesn't have to be proving who's wrong and who's right all <laughs> right, this is like a Michael Jackson song. It doesn't matter who long, who long, just mean it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I get sidetracked. Uh, so that is kind of the reading here. Uh, this is going to be a week for creation, even though it doesn't seem like it. You know, with the the Mercury retrograde here, it's generally a time for us to to kind of hide almost. You know, but uh, use this week as an opportunity to to do the things that you've neglected in the manifestation process. And I think if you stay positive and stay away from ego battles, you're going to be in that space where creation is possible, and you can still move forward, even though it's a Mercury retrograde. You know. Time doesn't stop, okay? We gotta still keep moving, us still keep creating and manifesting. So uh, focus on the spiritual aspect, the, the energetic aspect of things this week, and things will just be going great for you. All right, that is the reading. That is my introduction to the Vice Versa Tarot for you guys. I still have a lot of learning to do on this deck, but uh, luckily we got a card that I understood. So no book needed for me today. So um, that is the weekly reading. I wish you guys the best week possible. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button to let me know you enjoyed it. And uh, please also consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos, which you do not want to miss out on. I got these weekly readings every Sunday, as well as tarot scopes bi-monthly, as well as all sorts of things. Don't worry about it. Just hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. All right, friends. Creation and manifestation, but from a different angle. That is the focus of this week. I wish you the best week possible. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.